praise be to jesus good morning friends day third verse of lent first peter chapter 3 verses 8 to 12 gospel of saint matthew chapter 5 verses 43 to 48 love your enemies never an insult for an insult said peter in his letter the minds us that we should not return evil for evil or an insult for an insult instead he says that we should respond to an insult with a blessing do law jesus gives us the new law the old law was love your neighbor and hate your enemy the new testament warns us to love our enemies bless them and become perfect like our father in heaven who gives the sun moon stars rain etc to all to wish well for and to love the enemy is a great task we need divine graces forget forgive be reconciled lord make our lenten observances meaningful give us courage to forgive our offenders love our enemies and bless our detractors amen it is be to jesus good morning friends Today, the second Saturday of Lent, readings are 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 9 to 13, Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 11, verses 16 to 19, denying the inspirations of the Holy Spirit and rejecting Jesus Christ is fatal. Remember, leading a scandalous life must be corrected, St. Paul advised. But now I am writing to you that you must not associate with anyone who claims to be a brother or sister, but is sexually immoral or greedy, an idolater or slanderer, a drunkard or a swindler. Do not even eat with such people. 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Repent or else face the wrath of God. John the baptizer came wearing camel skin, eating wild honey and insects, a man of penance and prayer. They called him a lunatic and rejected him. Jesus came wearing common dress of the Jews, attending their synagogues, meals and feasts, calling him a drunkard. And a friend of the sinners, they rejected him also. Yeah. Repent and be converted. Being non repentant, they will have to face the wrath of God. Lord, give us a repentant heart and have mercy on us, O Lord. Amen.